Hey, people, my people, it's your girl, Dr. She Cole here, just bringing you some tips, topics, and takeaways. As I've been perusing the YouTube space, I've been seeing some things that are trending. And what's disappointing to me is the realm of reality TV just seems to be bringing the state of black women further, further into an abyss. And all of this conversation around uh, revenge, um, material being used, compromising women, showing them in compromising situations is rather disappointing. And when you have individuals who started off being a part of black culture and really being quite iconic because they were um, award-winning uh, beauty pageant holders that really did a lot for little brown girls who did not see themselves represented in that particular arena in the early um, 90s. Uh, again, we know that Suzette Charles, Vanessa Williams, Kenya Moore really did crack that industry open for women of color. But I find it disappointing that with the Housewives franchise, it is no longer showing the elite members of society who may have access, who have tapped into wealth, who may have generational wealth uh, from not only uh, a financial standpoint, but from a historic uh, standpoint like Hosea Williams out of Atlanta. I just think that we're in a place now where we as women of color need to take stock in how we are represented and how we are seen in our spaces that we occupy. And when we are always connected to something that is hypersexualized, violent, uncouth, and just plain being out of pocket on a network that has uh, international access, I think it's time to revisit, shut down, reboot, and get some things together. I, I pray that the commentary around Kenya Moore and what happened at the Kenya Moore hair uh, care um, salon, hair spa, is not true. And again, I just hope it's not true. But I think it's high time that the collective needs to get around and really see how you want to be represented out here in perpetuity in these uh, TV and YouTube streets. It's just not cool anymore, uh, ladies. I think we need to think about it. And I think I'm really even more disgusted with the fact that people were a bit derogatory about how Candy Burris took the time to, in her 14 or however many years she was on the show, she was always presenting another business and what she was doing to build an empire. But that was the whole point. Individuals that, that were on these Housewives shows were showing their lifestyle because it was something different that many people may aspire to actually have, or they just had fun watching individuals who looked like them tap into areas and access that usually were not afforded to us. And she was doing that as a businesswoman. Like what else are you gonna do with 14 years when you're on a, a global franchise? Like eat chips and fight? Like I don't understand. And drink, that's all we're gonna do? Ooh, it's time to regroup. It's time to regroup reality TV in black women and how we're represented. They're bastardizing the narrative and we're giving them the content. Let's think about it, ladies. People, my people, it's your girl, Dr. She Cole here, just giving you some tips, some topics, and some takeaways around these issues and reality TV and how black women and women of color are being represented. We're not a monolith. Stay tuned.